Reef DVMs here. I'm just going to open up a new product that we're going to test out. Indo Pacific Sea Farms has Coraline Algae Booster Plates. Here's a little card that comes in the box um, that you can buy to help out a tank that doesn't have any Coraline Algae in it. Since we actually happen to have a tank with no Coraline Algae in it, it's got some live rock that we're trying to get going because we bought it dead from Bulk Reef. We decided to go ahead and buy some of these Coraline Algae Plates and uh, give it a try. These are the plates. They come, you know, in this nice box. Uh, they're moistened and wet, and they actually ship pretty good. I'm going to have to drill some holes in the back of these. That's what you can see me doing here. I'll speed it up a little bit so that we can actually hang these in the tank. You want to put these where there's a lot of water flow and where they can get enough light and the spores can come off them easily and propagate in the tank. The only little downer to when we first got them was is they're not completely covered with coralline algae especially on the back side, uh, and there seems to be maybe even some other algae growing on them. That was a little disappointing, but we thought we'd give it a try anyways. So here we are, we're going to rinse them clean, try and get that uh, remnants of PVC plastic off these. Basically what these are, these little PVC uh, plastic plates, and they've grown the coralline algae on them, and what they tell us to do is to put them in the tank in a high flow area and let the spores seed out and, and spread throughout your tank and put coralline algae in your tank. So what we decided to do is drill a couple holes in the top of them, take two plates each, and uh, run some nylon fishing line through them so we could suspend them in the tank. One of the reasons we want to suspend them is in this particular tank that we're going to stick them in. It's a 75 gallon tank and a lot of its flow is up high. Second of all, it has a lot of reef cleaning little snails and stuff and they'll get on these plates and potentially wreak havoc so by hanging them in the top of the tank I think it'll make it easier so here we are in one of the 75 gallon tanks that does not have any coralline algae in it at present it was stocked with uh, dead rock um, from bulk reef supply and uh, it has some algae growing on the dead rock right now as it's becoming live rock this tanks only been set up for a couple months so what we're basically doing here is we're going to hang these. I'm using the center divider in the tank and that way we'll keep the snails off them. I did attach little lead weights to the bottom of them, otherwise the flow would push them up and potentially out of the water. Obviously we have a, a sailfin tang in the tank, so the plates might get nipped at a little, but we're planning on watching these over two to three months and seeing how the tank um, seeds with coralline algae. We're going to take a toothbrush about once a week maybe even twice a week, and we're going to scrub these little cassette, you know, cards and try to cause the coralline algae spores to come off and then uh, seed themselves within the tank. When we do that, by the way, we'll have the filter system off for a couple hours so that they can uh, freely float around. Here's a picture of them hanging. Again, they have little lead weights. They're suspended by a nylon fishing line. My only downside was I thought they'd be a little fuller with coralline algae. I guess it's not a problem though as long as they work and I'm here to see if they do work so hopefully they will. They came uh, for about 40 bucks by the way for these four plates and it was shipped uh, very nicely and correctly considering it arrived in Minnesota when it was about 10 degrees out. Oh and uh, we need a, a baseline here so we'll take a quick picture of a couple of the chunks of rock. This particular piece of rock has very little growth of anything on it. So we'll use that as kind of our uh, base point. One week later here, we're going to show you what the little plates look like. This is pretty much what they look like after we first stuck them in. Not a lot of change. But again, I kind of wanted to show you how the plates changed over the course of the couple months we followed them. So upcoming here, we're going to show you um, the one month picture. In the one month, you're going to see a lot more scratches on the plates because we started scratching more off with the toothbrush. Just a tish. Of, of cyanobacteria starting on one of the back plates. Not enough to cancel the experiment yet, um, but certainly uh, we were watching that and watching what develops. These are the plates again. Again, we're scraping them about twice a week with a finger to a toothbrush to knock some coralline algae off into the water to help seed the tank. And here we are about two months later. At this point, we definitely started to get some algae problems on the top of these plates. The cyanobacteria was also on them, 
I mean, we even starting to see maybe some bubble algae. It was really tough to tell, so the experiment was ended shortly thereafter. These are the plates when I took them out. And as you can see, there's not a lot of coralline algae left on them. We've scraped most of it off. And it really was quite successful for us. I know we grew some cyanobacteria. I know we grew some algae. They uh, were kind of hanging there for a couple months. But take a look at this rock. Uh, it really did well. I'm really impressed with how the, the coralline algae in a little over two months really kind of set in and particularly started to develop. See some nice purples, some nice red. It seems to be throughout the rock. It's not just in a particular spot. This is another side view of it. I was very pleased with how four plates and about 80 gallons of water, and it has two main jets to give it a lot of flow and move it around, did really well. We have a lot of this coralline algae starting out all over. So for us, the results are positive. I hope they are for you if you try this product. We will probably use this product again in the future. Again, we had some minor setbacks with some algae and such but not enough to make me not want to try the product again. I was pretty pleased with it overall. As you can see, our coralline algae now in this 75-gallon tank is doing quite well, and we're very pleased. You guys, have a good day. Hope you have the same luck if you use the Indio Pacific Sea Farms coralline algae plates. Peace.